Hi everyone, welcome along to our online training video today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to strip down and service the Vidstons 100 heat only boiler. This is in our academy, but when you're in the field, please make sure you follow your normal safety procedures with your positive side isolation and also isolating your gas supply. I will be showing you shortly how to take the front case off and isolate the gas and then we'll move into actually stripping the boiler down for servicing. Okay, so underneath the boiler we can isolate the gas at this point here, the gas isolation valve. You've got a rocker switch just here on the left hand side, we can switch that to off. Now to remove the front case, we use the lugs either side, so we can get underneath with a screwdriver, release the lugs and just pull the case gently forward as we release the lugs. And then once the case is pulled forward, push the case up and that's the case removed. Okay, so the gas is now isolated. Please make sure your boiler is isolated as per your safety procedure. Ours is in the academy, so we know it's safely isolated. So now we can gain access to the boiler. To do this, we drop the PCB cover down. It's just two lugs at either side of the PCB. That can gain access now to the full inside of the boiler. We're going to be removing this section here, and this is our gas combustion controller. That will give us access into the heat exchanger, so we can check the heat exchanger and clean the heat exchanger out. So the first thing I'll do is remove the gas uh, connection, the gas union. So to slacken that off, gas is isolated, and we just uh, undo the nut. Okay, so that's the nut off. You can see the fibre washer in there. You can make that safe and you can replace it if necessary. So the next thing to do is disconnect all the electrical wires off the components on the combustion controller. So the first thing I'll do is just disconnect the two wires off the spark generator. There's an earth wire up here just on the front of the door, so I'll remove that and make them safe. And there's just two left and that's on the fan, so we'll just disconnect the two wires off the fan. And now that's all of our electrical wires disconnected, ready for removal of the nuts on the front of the burner. Okay, so now we're going to remove the four bolts that secure the burner in place. To do this, you'll need a Torx bit T30. Okay, so there's four bolts to remove. I'm going to fast forward this bit, so you're going to watch me do all four bolts. Okay, so we're now on the last bolt. Take the last uh, bolt out and just make sure you have secured the burner to make sure it doesn't fall out of position. So that's the last one out, we'll just put that one down there. And the whole thing will just pull forward gently. And that's our burner removed. Okay, you will notice there's a rubber seal around the outside of the burner. Please inspect this on every service. But you don't have to replace it on every service, just inspect it and replace as necessary. When you do refit the burner, just do an integrity test to make sure it's all safe. Okay, so the next thing to do would be to inspect the heat exchanger. You can clean the heat exchanger using water. Don't use nothing too abrasive. Don't use anything that would scratch the heat exchanger service as this would cause it to deposit more um, dirt next time when you inspect the heat exchanger. Now you've got all the gas combustion um, controller out of the way, you can now gain access much easier to the condensate trap that's located just to the back left of the boiler. Please check this and clean it as necessary. Once we've had a thorough check of the boiler, please reassemble in reverse order and then carry out your normal safety checks including your fluid gas analyzer checks as you would do on every surface.